Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, we'll go through the packaging costs example. And we're going to do four things. We're going to format the data here in the range as a table. Then we're going to do some calculations in the age column. And then we're going to create a pivot table and a pivot graph. This is what Excel considers a range. It's not a table. It does look like a table, of course but we haven't told Excel that this is a table. So that's the first thing we're gonna do by clicking on this format as table and then selecting any layout that we want there. Just gonna select this one. And then we have all these table tools. Very, very useful. Next step is that we're gonna do these calculations. Uh, this table now actually is named table one. We can rename that table packaging costs. That's the name of the table now. Now what we wanna get in this age three cell is the average box cost. So this is the average of all the rows that have the box. So we can just check that this is actually these numbers. So here's the average. That's the number we want to reach, 46,000 roughly. So I'm going to use a d-average function for that. And the d-average function takes three parameters. First, the, the table. And the table, of course, was the a packaging costs table and then it takes a column that you want to do the math on and that's the fifth column one two three four five columns and then a range of the criteria for the rows that you want to actually count on so we're gonna add a column here and the criteria range is here I'm gonna do type and then just type in box there and now I'm gonna type in the formula actually I will be using the function guide for that and I'll use the the average there we go the average and here is the little function guide for that the database is this table packaging costs and then the field that I want to use is of course the fifth one that I just counted out and then the criteria is here in this range there and there you have the number 46,102.5 that's the average so that's using the d-average. I'm going to do the same with the d-sum here. And here I'm going to calculate the international envelope cost. So again, I'm going to have a um, heading there, type envelope, and then destination international. So of course you can build this out to any number of columns there and just have a whole question or query against this database. So that's rather useful. So now we're going to do the equals again. I'm going to, I'll use the function guide and use the D sum. The trick to find this is just typing in, in here, D sum, very um, quick way of doing it. And the database is again, the um, packaging costs. And then the field is again, the fifth one. And the criteria now is this, these two cells right there. And that's the 45,000. So let's just check that this is correct. And we'll do that by envelope international, those three, right? So the sum of that is 45,000, we can see there. That's the way of doing it. And finally, we're gonna create a pivot table and a pivot graph based on this. Rather easy, you've probably seen other demonstrations on this. Go into the table tools, summarize with the pivot table, and then you just drag in the fields that you wanna use, the expense, and then you can just summarize on whichever way you want, like the destination, like that. And of course, we do need to set the number format also, the dollars and no decimals. And I do need to have that on both of those cells. There we go. Actually, let's do it on the entire column there. Perfect. And then a pivot graph. And I do that on the analyze tab here. I do a pivot chart and I have one that I like. like that maybe. And now again, of course, when I move things around here or change things, I can do instead do this by type. I can see that the boxes are the vast majority of my shipping costs here. That concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.